so for today's video, we are finding ways to stay busy during the stay at home order. Um, so I actually signed up for this scavenger hunt um, company called Let's Roam through Groupon and they came out with one that's a um, at home, so it's called a roam from home um, scavenger hunt and they have ones that are like date night type one. We have like a not very nice night in Michigan right now, so we figured we would give it a shot and see what it's like. They have a bunch of different ones. There's the romantic adventure, your very own rom-com, date night party games, and then there's one that they partnered with a place called The Relationship Firm, so it's a bond building scavenger hunt. So I think we decided to do the date night party games, which apparently is a Truth or dare, would you rather a newlywed game all wrapped into one? So it's like, how well do you know each other? So I think we're gonna give that one a shot and take some videos along the way and show you guys how it goes. See how well we actually know each other. What are we doing right now? Recreating a photo from earlier in a relationship. And you picked? Our first one. First photo. No photo. It's pretty close. I think you're about to do it side by side in this, but we'll see. Well, it says, let your date blindfold you and take a shot. All right, let's do that. That one. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> what is that? Do you and your date have nicknames for each other? Come up with new ones and get a video trying them out. What's your nickname for me? Your new one. My new one? Mm -hmm. Well, after Sunday night's show, Baby Love. Baby Love. <laughs> what if I called you Pookie? Oh. Hey, Pookie. No. That's your new nickname. No, it's not. Pookie. Okay, Baby Love. <laughs> Sick. What is your date's most valued possession? Have them write it down before you guess. I'm gonna guess Jordan's. Your gun? No. Really? Really. Is it me? That is you. Aww. Not that you're a possession, but yeah. That was super cute. Would you rather your partner had really long hair or no hair at all? Take a hair, oh, take a hair, take a picture of your date with a goofy hairdo. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what takes little to no effort. Literally just pushed it down. I need a haircut. No. Quarantine, babe. Quarantine. First of all, we're 17% complete and we have under a half hour to go. Secondly, our video ones aren't working, so we're just gonna skip these and just do the photo ones. There are a lot of challenges. There's no way we're gonna get all these done. I, I don't even think there's- could get these Yeah, done I don't even think there's any way we could get them done anyway. Find a washable marker and make matching tattoos for you and your date. Snap a pic for when you make it to the tattoo parlor. I don't even have tattoos. I don't know if we need any more tattoos, but I'm gonna color Jordan's. How about an orange owl? He looks like the Joker, kind of. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Newlywed game, what is your date's favorite pizza topping? Have them write it down before you guess. Got it in my brain. Go. Is it pepperoni? Is it? No. Um, bacon? It's bacon. It's a tie between bacon or just extra cheese. So this is what you're gonna do. Okay. You're gonna text me using only emojis and see if you can decipher, or I can decipher your message. Where is the last thing? Hello? This is higher than it looks. This cookie is the key to your heart. Accurate. Is that what it was? Yeah, and you make cookies tonight, good job. I did make cookies. <laughs> so uh, that's the key to your heart? Yep. That's how I got this. Just, is... just from the cookies? Just because you're amazing cookie making skills. Figured. 26% complete, 3,000 points, less than 15 minutes left. Who has the worst handwriting? Each of you write down a name, and before you show the other person, write down e write each other a quick love notes and photograph the evidence before revealing who you think is a more skilled pendant. Holy long no. It's one more sentence than yours. Romance is the spice of life. What dish are you? Describe it to your date and take a picture of one of its ingredients in your kitchen. So you think milk chocolate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause then I could do, yeah, like a hot fudge sundae. A hot fudge sundae. Yep. Okay. That's what I'm going with. 31% complete, 3,600 points. We have a little under five minutes and we're gonna give this one a shot. 
If you could throw a theme party, what theme would it be? Have your date write down their answer while you find something that would fit the theme in your house. Get a picture of the item you found next to your date's answer. Theme party! I have a guess. Did you write it down yet? I don't know. Or am I just going to tell you? Okay, I put down four. Four different options. I feel like you do a letter penny theme party. So your That's flannel. Close. Guns, America, flannel. Oh, look! Boy claw, obviously. Is that what WC is? Yes. Okay, so we are officially out of time. Team name Beatrice. He didn't know what's our two last names put together. So apparently, we finished with 3,900 points and we beat 83% of the teams. So go us. <laughs> so I actually saved all of our pictures that we took in our camera roll, which is kind of cool because Jordan wanted to see the one that we recreated from our first picture together. So that was our team photo, and then that's the one, the recreation of it. So it saved all of them that we took, which is funny. And kind of cool to look back on if you took some good ones that you wanted to keep. Which we did. Okay, so we just finished our scavenger hunt. Um, we did not finish all the challenges. Nope. Not anywhere even close. I think we maybe finished maybe 10 to 15 of them. Um, a lot of them required posting to social media or calling friends or siblings or whatever and dressing up and finding things around the house and the videos weren't working. So we kind of did the easier ones. Um, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. It's something a little bit different rather than, hey, you want to go watch TV? Yeah, what do you want to watch? Yeah. Big Bang Theory. That's what Jordan turns on almost every night. There's nothing else on. <laughs> so, recommended? Sure. It's I had to do. I had a bunch of free points, so we didn't have to pay for it. I think if you end up doing it, you have to pay for it. So, something to do, like Jordan said. So. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe below. Thanks for watching, and I'm sure he'll be in my next video because he's been in a lot of them recently, so we'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.